What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Hope Views. My name is Corey. Thank you for clicking that thumbnail. And we haven't done a product review in a long time, but that's about to change. Normally, movie reviews and TV show reviews, reaction videos, watch along, those are the things that we tend to do here on the channel. But every now and then we do a product review and here we're getting into razor blades. As a bald headed black man, I don't know why I haven't made this video sooner. Today we are comparing the Dollar Shave Club blade versus Harry's blade. So before diving too, too deep into the comparison, I do wanna go ahead and tell people that the Dollar Shave Club blade is trash. The Harry's blade is pretty good. But I wanna break down and go over why the Dollar Shave Club blade is absolute trash to me, although it does have a few bright spots, and then talk about this Harry's blade, where it falls short, and where it really shines. Talking about the Dollar Shave Club blade, let's talk about the positives first, right? So the blade itself, the handle, this is an older blade, as you can tell, it's been in the shower for my wife for quite some time, uh, but the handle that you have and the grip that you have is a very good handle. The texturing, very good grip. The heft that this blade has is pretty good when you're using it to shave the dome. Also, this spring-loaded feature right here, like it, it really pops the blade off there. That's a very good thing. The lockup that this blade provides when you click it in and then pull out a new blade and it's like very much secured in place. It has a very good pivot whenever you're shaving the head. All those things are great about the Dollar Shave Club blade. The Harry's blade, not as good in those same areas. So I have two Harry's blade. Again, this is the new one for my wife. This one is the one that I use. The heft, not nearly there as it is with the Dollar Shave Club blade. Also the texturing, you can see a little texturing here and a little diamond texturing there not as significant, the grip not as good, just not as good of a handle when it comes to the feel in hand. Also, very important to note, the lockup is almost non-existent on the Harry's blades. Like it's, it's, no matter if the blade is new or if the blade is old, when you put in a new blade, like I'm, it's, it's a struggle to pull it out of the case. But once you do, is there, you could just pull it off. So that's not really a good thing for the Harry's. Now, is that an issue when it comes to actually shaving your head or shaving your face or shaving your legs with the Harry's blades? Absolutely not, it's not an issue at all. But it is significant enough to note that these handles and the lockup that these handles provide is just not nearly as good as what you get on a Dollar Shave Club blade. The problem with the Dollar Shave Club blade versus the Harry's blade is that the actual blade. This is a four blade razor. This is a four blade razor with an additional blade on the back end. The shave that you get with a Dollar Shave Club blade is just inadequate. Now, remember, I'm only talking about the Dollar Shave Club blade that you can purchase in the store. That is crucial because when I was just starting out on my ball headed adventures, you know, trying to find the system that worked for me, I tried bevel and safety blades. Uh, I tried Gillette but those are very expensive. I did the Dollar Shave Club subscription service and that to me was sufficient. Those blades were sufficient all those years ago. Fast forward some years, Harry's came out. I was buying Harry's in the store. I saw Dollar Shave Club started offering a store product. I was like, you know what? I'll buy the store product, realizing that the subscription based services, their blades and handles don't match up with the stuff that you can get in the store. So this is a store-bought Dollar Shave Club blade and razor, and it's just not very good when it comes to actually shaving my head. The Harry's has been good the entire time of me using it, which, you know, earns a lot of points in my book. I never had to like learn new things about it. It was as simple as picking it up, understanding the loading of the cartridge mechanism, and just rolling with it. Going back to the shave though with the Dollar Shave Club, like my head is not a perfect egg shape as it may appear to be on your device. But I have some lumps, like right here, right here on the back end, I have a few lumps, a few bumps. And when I pass this blade, even if it's a fresh blade over my head, I tend to get patches, patches of hair that just 
don't come off. And I can pass back, pass back. I can clean this blade off, run it under water, tap it, get all the old hair out, and then come back. And it's just not ever gonna be a fresh shave. My head is left looking patchy. Whereas if I pass one good time with this Harry's blade, and even if I miss some spots, it's not gonna show up nearly as well because the Harry's blades are sharper and the shave that it gives me is much smoother. The one positive that I will say for the Dollar Shave Club and the Harry's is even when I press pretty, pretty hard to get a real actual smooth shave with the Dollar Shave Club, as well as with the Harry's, I never get bumps. So that is a plus. Uh, I did the safety blade thing for a while. I was cutting myself way too easy with a safety blade. So I never actually invested in the bevel. I just kind of looked into it, saw that, hey, it's a single blade safety blade style shave. Let me try that on the cheaper end before actually paying it's like $50 for a bevel set. So anyway, I, I avoided that and I realized that, you know, safety blades is leaving me with too many nicks and cuts. And after doing a whole bunch of different research and trial and error, I found that the Harry's is the way to go with the reloadable cartridges. I think I have all my thoughts out about this razor right here. It's, it's not good. I like the handle. I like the lockup. I really love the texture of the grip, man. It, it really gives you a good feel when you're shaving. But when it comes to actually shaving the blades fall short even when it's a fresh cartridge my wife even complains quite a bit about the dollar shave club blades uh and not being able to shave her legs with them like four blades you would imagine her leg would be smooth but it's just not it's just not smooth so i guess that's all the thoughts about this comparison dollar shave club when you buy it out of the store not nearly as good as what i remember with the subscription service subscription service good stuff in the store out of walmart or something or target not good stuff not good stuff at all harry's is the way to go if you're buying out of the store it's inexpensive uh compared to some of the other things that are out there and the shave is close enough it's not going to leave you bumpy as long as you're going with the grain and you know you're doing your aftershave and different things moisturizing your skin and things like that so yes big thumbs up for harry's big thumbs down for the dollar shave club blades and i think that's everything that's all we got for this video y'all enjoy yourself Get some Harry's blades and keep yourself well shaven.